What's good there, YouTube? A lot of Thanos are wondering after the last hotfix about the dual eco and the melee influence. What's going on? Hotfix or nerfed or what exactly happening? Maybe you didn't even know about uh, the update. All right. So fixed melee influence being triggered by dual eco in Carnon Toxin Field. Which is not supposed to be. When I said broken in my last videos. No, it's not broken. Everybody putting broken in his videos. Alright. Melee influence intended to trigger on melee electricity statue and not from secondary effect. As they are not considered direct melee hits. Since the toxin field deals damage independently of melee attacks. It does not meet the arcane's criteria of triggering only if the electricity statues originates from the weapon hand. In short, the Incarnon... Dual Ikor, when you kill enemies with it, it leaves a toxic field. That toxic field should not or shouldn't activate the melee, uh, the melee influence arcane. So what activates it is a direct hit to enemies. That was the fix and, the, and so. So now we're going to take a look if the weapon got nerfed or what happened exactly to it. Let's go. And for the first showcase, I'm going to be using Excalibur and ranked Excalibur, just running Steel Charge and two Arcanes, a Fury and Strike. A Fury for melee damage, a Strike for the attack speed, and that's it. Later on, we're going to upgrade it with my Nidus Synergy, like I did in the previous video. All right, let's go. So, let's uh, collect 12 6 combo multipliers first, so we can activate the uh, current form. All right, for combo multipliers, there we go. Bada boom, bada boom. And now we have the incarnate form active. You see the toxin field we're talking about? This is the toxin field we're talking about, right? It's not supposed to activate the melee influence, and that was the bug that uh, DE fixed. Okay, let's go. Let's reach the 12 combo multipliers. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, no unmodded, unmodded Excalibur with just uh, one, uh, let's say, arcane, two arcanes and one aura. Can already take down level 200 heavy corrupted gunners with the dual Ikor. No helmet required, baby. Look at that. Easy. Okay. Nine combo multipliers. All right. Till now, I don't see any nerf. It's just a bug and it got fixed. Look at that. Boom. 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 Easy. And yes, we're going to take it to steel path. And now how much combo? We have 10 combo multipliers. Let's collect two more. And we see the weapon at its maximum uh, potential. Alright, when we have uh, the Tanukai active, which is the sword that pops in the screen. And when I do heavy attack, it's free of combo multiplier. Right, last time with the 12 combo. Let's uh, go. Check this out. Boom. Does this look like nerf to you? No, it is not. So what you're going to do now, let's switch to my Nidus. Right? And the reason I showed it with Excalibur based on your request, and Papa Hank always listens to his community. All right, Nidus, we're going to be running the Tempest Barrage. We're going to be running two uh, Archon Shards, uh, Violet Archon Shards. Uh, you can run three if you want. And we're going to run two Emerald Archon Shards to push uh, the uh, Corrosive Stacks uh, to 14. Thanks to the Tempest Barrage, going to proc as Corrosive and Viral at the same time. And now for our Nidus, Steel Charge, Arcane Strike, Arcane Fury. And this is the build in case you're interested in. Of course, we're running in Naramon to be able to sustain our combo instead of depleting completely. Okay, so let's go. Collecting enemies with Larva. All right, let's go. Always activate the Incarnate form with your uh, Tenukai, so you don't consume your combo. Here we go. Activating here. Boom, 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 boom. Enemies uh, armor stripped and one shot. Okay, let's go to Steel Pad.
And welcome back. Does that look like nerf? No, not at all. It's just got that fixed. The toxin field doesn't proc at melee influence as it shouldn't, but the weapon's still broken. Broken meaning uh, making the game on your favor. All right. So, here you go. Evolution 1 in current form. Reach 6 combo and then heavy attack to activate in current form. Kills will create a toxin damage field, but it will not proc uh, electricity melee influence anymore. Just the toxin field. All right. Evolution 2, uh, Ronin Zurash. Evolution 3, uh, Orkin Reach. Evolution 4, uh, Absolute Volor, uh, baby. Dual uh, equal. Condition overload. More status, more damage. Uh, weeping wound. Uh, more uh, combo, more statue uh, chance. Uh, Amalgam Organ Shatter uh, for uh, the critical uh, damage and heavy uh, attack wind up speed. Uh, because you're running Dreamer's Wrath. Will enable Tanukai, the sword. With the, uh, that when you hit heavy attack, uh, it will be free of combo. And also, will make uh, the uh, opportunity window increase by 50% also will give you 32% uh, critical damage for Tenokai attacks uh, Swirling tag Tiger for distance uh, Blood Rush uh, more uh, critical chance uh, per combo multiplier uh, Fever Strike for Toxin uh, Vicious of Frost for Cold and Statue chance uh, Electricity uh, Sacrificial uh, Steel for critical uh, chance uh, and two times for heavy attack uh, Dreamer's Wrath uh, Voltaic Strike for Electricity and Statue chance uh, Melee Influence as the Arcane on melee electricity statue, 20% chance for melee element status effect to apply to enemies within 20 meters. Now you need to understand how melee influence works exactly. Let's say you have a target in front of you and your weapon have all the elements on the game. Viral, toxin, cold, whatever you have it. Now the moment melee influence will proc, it will transfer all those stats to all those enemies within 20 meters. Simple as that. Okay, Naramon, as I said earlier, uh, to sustain your combo. Now, for your pet, if you want to run my Smita Kavad, go ahead. If you want to run uh, the uh, Nautilus to uh, pull more enemies, uh, there you go. Cordon to pull, Manifold to pull more, Tenacious Bond, uh, so you can have the critical uh, damage. Uh, so, Volklok uh, for your Tenacious, all right? If you want to run the Panzer Volpafila to proc more viral stats on the enemy, there you go. In, in that case, you want to change the element on your dual Igor. Now, it is viral, yes, and I'm running the tempest barrage yes but you can switch uh, the uh, element on dual acre if you want to the idea was to put as many stats as many stacks of viral in the enemies uh, to make sure it's dead even with a toxin field all right i want to say guys uh, thank you so much for watching and always remember to subscribe if you want to support the channel hit the like button and let me know in the comments below uh, are you happy now dual acre isn't nerfed Yes, it got fixed the toxin field. It was a very high DPS, KPS uh, uh, increase, but it is what it is. We, w we don't want to play in a game that is buggy. All right, big love and join our Discord. The link in the description and see you next time.